The order Cyatheles, which includes the tree ferns, is a taxonomic division of the fern class, Polypidiopsida. No clear morphological features characterize all of the Cyatheles, but DNA sequence data indicate the order is monophyletic. Some species in the Cyatheles have tree-like growth forms, but others have rhizomes. Some species have scales on the stems and leaves, while others have hairs. However, most plants in the Cyatheles are tree ferns and have trunk-like stems up to 10 meters tall. It is unclear how many times the tree form has evolved and been lost in the order. Description In general, any fern that grows with a trunk elevating the fronds above ground level can be called a tree fern. However, the plants formerly known as tree ferns comprise a group of large ferns belonging to the families Dixoniaceae and Cyatheaceae in the order Cyatheles. Tree ferns are found growing in tropical and subtropical areas, as well as temperate rainforests in South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, and other island groups nearby. A few genera extend further, such as Colceta in southern Europe. Like all ferns, tree ferns reproduce by means of spores developed in sporangia on the undersides of the fronds. The fronds of tree ferns are usually very large and multiple pinnated, but at least one type has entire fronds. The fronds of tree ferns also exhibit circinate venation, meaning the young fronds emerge in coils that uncurl as they grow. Unlike flowering plants, tree ferns do not form new woody tissue in the trunk as they grow. Rather, the trunk is supported by a fibrous mass of roots that expands as the tree fern grows. Some genera, for example Dixonia and Sebosium, and Simsiathia, can be transplanted by severing the top portion from the rest of the trunk and replanting it. If the transplanted top part is kept moist it will regrow a new root system over the next year. The success rate of transplantation increases if the roots are dug up intact. If the crown of the Tasmanian tree fern Dixonia antarctica is damaged, it will die because all new growth occurs there. But other clump-forming tree fern species, such as D. squarosa and D. youngii, can regenerate from basal offsets or from pups, emerging along the surviving trunk length. Tree ferns often fall over in the wild, yet manage to reroot from this new prostrate position and begin new vertical growth. The number of tree fern species is likely to be around a thousand, although new species are discovered in New Guinea with each botanical survey. Many species throughout its range have become extinct in the last century as forest habitats have come under pressure from human activity. Threats to tree ferns while many ferns are able to achieve a widespread distribution because of their spore reproduction, tree fern species tend to be very local. This makes their species much more susceptible to the effects of local deforestation. Why species are not more widespread is unknown, especially considering they have sufficient height to have a greater chance of getting spores into the wind stream. Where feral pigs are a problem, as in some Hawaiian rainforests, they will knock over tree ferns to root out the starchy pith, killing the plant. non cyatheals tree ferns Outside of the cyatheals a few ferns in other groups could be considered tree ferns, such as several ferns in the family Osmundaceae that can achieve short trunks under one meter tall. A few species in the genera Blechnum, Leptopterus, Sadleria and Todia could also be considered tree ferns in a liberal interpretation of the term. The families that constitute cyatheals have been relatively firmly established as a clade by DNA sequencing and morphological studies. The order Plagiogeriales, which contains the family Plagiogeriaceae, is most closely related to the cyatheals, not to the Osmundales as had been previously supposed. Phylogeny the following phylogram shows a possible relationship between the Cyatheales families and the genera. 